Okay, counts per degree on this wizard thing. Bring up the auto steer config. Anyway, looking for some feedback on how to do this. Redesign this. So now you have your proportional derivative and your output values up or down. And then integral and the max amount of integral. Explain that in another video. Just uh, zeroing the steering. Uh, your max steer. What? How many? What is the maximum amount of degrees of steer that you want the controller to do? This is your counts per degree. Taking that sensor reading and turning it into actual steer angle. That's what the wizard's for. Safe turn. How quickly do you want to limit the thing from turning? If you're going fast, you don't want to make a 20 degree steer angle. So that prevents that. Minimum pulse width. That's still the same. What is the minimum amount of um, power you're sending to either your valves or your motor before it starts to turn? Look ahead. That's for part of the pursuit, your pursuit, and that just changes how many seconds you're looking ahead. Okay. Oh, bring up the steer wizard. So first thing you do is you make sure you put your steering wheel straight out ahead. And then once you're going straight, then you can either you can zero it out. So now the data or your sensor should read zero when you're going straight out, negative when you're going one way, positive when you're going the other way. And here's the wheelbase of your vehicle that's set up in the vehicle settings. So now you turn your steering wheel about 15 degrees, 10 to 20, 15 degrees, whatever you want, and then whatever that number is, that'll be on the steering sensor. And then you drive around the circle. And drive all the way around the circle and then what you want to do is you want to measure from basically like on a tractor from hitch point to hitch point the area between the pivot wheels like the back wheels you want to measure that diameter in meters so once you have those two things you have your uh, your raw data from your sensor value and then the diameter in meters and say that was 25 meters from there to there. Enter that. Click calculate and it will calculate what your steering angle was and how many counts per degree. Like how many counts from the sensor equals one degree of steering angle. And then you can save that and voila. There it is in your counts per degree. Here it adjusts to now read your steering value in degrees of steering angle. Simple, simple. And that's all I want to show. Let me know if it's silly or too complicated or weird. Um, I think it works pretty slick. Uh, all of these things are adjustable now and stored and you can save it in vehicle settings and all that. So works cool. Thanks.